My wife and I get to travel all across the country and eat at some really neat little diners. And let me tell you, there's some great food out there. But I'm awful partial to our little family restaurant right down the road. Let's check in there at Marcy Joe's and see what they're cooking today. Y'all come on in. Stay wherever you want. Now Marcy Joe's is about as country as you can get. The paint's peeling, the walls are leaning, and we've got license plates to cover the holes on the floor. But believe it or not, we offer a little city food now and then. And today's recipe is one of my personal favorites, bacon herb spinach quiche. This is something that we offer a lot of times during the summertime, so we'll have that as a special. Mm -hmm. And you actually used to make this all the time in the summer, and I loved it. I've never made it personally, but and actually you're going to teach me today okay. how to make it. Well, let's so. get started. So Marcy, what do you have here first? So we have the old crust that we've actually shown you guys on a previous show, and then you've got it all curved out here real pretty, and then you've got your cheese, and this is a Colby Jack cheese, I believe, but you can use, I love smoked Gouda, oh, so that's I think really that good. would be really good in yeah. here. And you don't have to line the cheese, but I, I love cheese, and anytime yeah. you can add a little bit of extra kick to it and put it on the bottom, it has a little bit of a layer effect. Yeah. And so anyway, and then I think you're going to start your base, yes. right? Yes. So what we're going to do, we're going to heat our little skillet. You get about a skillet this size. In here I have just a fourth of a cup of butter. Heat it, melt it down nice and nice and easy. And then you're going to add one cup of chopped onions. You're going to let these simmer in here. And I love the smell of onions. I do too. I love that smell. And once these get nice and simmered, you get them kind of just translucent. You don't want to get them too dark or too brown or anything like that. We're going to kick this heat up a little bit but they'll just start sizzling away. Once those start sizzling, get heated, you're gonna add one tablespoon of just all-purpose flour. This is creating your be your base, so that this is gonna be the thickening agent right. for your quiche. And Rory, you know, he's not really a big quiche guy. I'm not really sure why. I think he thinks that it's just not manly enough or yeah. something, but I love a quiche. After you put your flour in, you're gonna do just a half of a cup of milk. If you want it to be really creamy, you can add maybe some half and half. If you oh, have some of good. that, that'd be really nice mm -hmm. too. But uh, we're gonna do milk. So I'm gonna let this really thicken up. You're gonna stir it constantly. You don't want this to stick. So what do we have next, Marcy? Well, I'm doing this. Okay, uh, I've got four eggs already scrambled and whipped up in here. And then you're gonna take about three fourths cup of milk. Is mm -hmm. that right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna pour it in your egg. And then you're going to take some basil. Is it basil? No, that's... Or no, parsley. Mm-hmm. So you're going to take parsley, and then you're going to take chives. And you're not... I mean, I don't know how much. Maybe just about a tablespoon. Well, if you have tablespoon. fresh herbs, fresh oh, herbs yes. are always best. Yes. But if you don't have fresh herbs, just do about a teaspoon of each of your basil, your chives, or your parsley. You can mix up. That's what's great about quiche. Yeah. You can make quiche however you want. You can that put different great. vegetables in it, different cheeses in it. Um, but these are great. And then you're going to add more seasoning, just your yep, salt and the pepper. salt and pepper, and probably just like a, what, a teaspoon? Mm hmm And then same thing with pepper. That looks really good. I love the smell of this, too. And this is, you know, it's pretty much an easy dish to make. The great thing is, is you can make your pie crust at night, the night right. before, and then you can make this stuff in the morning, and it just whips out really nice, and it's just a nice alternative. It's great for brunch. Yeah. That's already starting to thicken up. It it's looking great. good. Mm -hmm. So, and then also you're gonna have four or five strips of bacon that's already cooked, and then you're just gonna chop it up really fine, and then you're gonna add that in here. This has got nice and mix and it all together. And so, why that's ready? That's perfect, Joe. Mm -hmm. You're gonna add all that together there. It smells so good. I love the smell of cooked. Oh, on I do too. Something quite like it. And you're gonna stir that, and then we're gonna add our cheese. Now you'd said something about the cheese that you, mm -hmm. you, didn't, you didn't go to the grocery store well, or something, baby. <laughs> I forgot to get the Swiss cheese. But Swiss cheese or mozzarella is really what you want to use because right. it's really mild. But we have a really mild cheddar cheese here and it's nice and thinly It'll shredded. It'll still be really so It's going to be awesome. Mix Probably this up really nice. A cup of that. And this is about a handful of fresh spinach. You do not want to use frozen spinach because what that is, is it has a lot of water and that will water down your quiche, and it's looks just great. not gonna turn out right if you use, always wanna use fresh. That looks really, really great. We're just gonna pour it all in here. Mm -hmm. Pour it all in your unbaked pie pan. Preheat your oven to 425, bake that for about 15 minutes, and then turn it down after 15 minutes is done, turn it down to uh, 350, that looks and bake really it for another great. 25 minutes, and put it in your oven. 
and then you are going to have a finished product like this. That's beautiful. And this is just gorgeous. See how nice and set up it is. And we have a very special guest today coming all the way from our neighborhood, Mr. Jordan Valdez. Come on up here, buddy. How are you doing? Doing good. How so are you So good doing? to see you. Good seeing you too. I met Jordan when I first got married with Rory, and you were our neighbors. You were about 10 years old then. Yeah. And now you're over at Samford University. I am. College wow. studying. It's going well. It's going great and so And you far. just happened to be on break. Just happened to be. While we're doing a taping. And this boy has always been an eater. And I don't know if you've ever had my quiche or not. I don't think I have. I don't no. think you have. But I have a feeling you might like this. This is going to turn out so good. That looks great. It does look good. A little salt and pepper if you like extra, but I don't think you're going to need right. any extra. Give it that a try and see All what right, you let's think. Let's see. I can't believe how big these boys are. I up know. To be. I know it. What do you think? That's pretty good right you there. You like it? So oh, even yeah. as a man, you can you can eat a quiche, huh? I mean, I, I think so. <laughs> oh, good. Well, good. So much. great to see you. Good Thanks, see you Jordan. Good to see you on. Well, there you have it, folks. That's our bacon spinach herb quiche here at Marcy Joe's, where we're changing lives. One bite at a time.